Hi guys, I'm back and we're going to do something a little different today. It's not just going to be a straight pour. Um, I've seen several other people do it. I don't know who started it, um, but I've heard it called Angel Wings. Um, I think that's pretty much what everybody's calling it, but um, I don't know who started it first. And like Anne Marie said, you know, why do we need to give credit to to somebody else at this point? You know, we're all sort of working with each other. We're kind of, I don't want to say copying each other because we're taking what we're learning from other people and we're making it our own. So, um, thanks for the idea, whoever started it. It's a cool idea. That's all I'm going to say about it. Um, so I've got white here in the center and I'm just going to use all the leftover colors from the Halloween pour and the last pour that I'm really not thrilled about. And the more I stare at it, the more I'm just really not happy with it. But um, we'll leave it as it is. So I've got white here in the center and this, I've got this little cup. Really, it's just duct taped to this one. So I hope it's going to stay. <laughs> Hopefully it should stay. Um, so we're going to pour all the colors around and then we're going to pour it out onto the canvas. So I don't have much of any, I don't have a lot of anything left. So, um, we're just going to Pour in whatever we've got left and hopefully it will be enough to cover this canvas because this canvas is a big canvas. It's a, uh, I want to say it's a 14 by 14. And all these colors have silicone in them so it's not going to work as well as I would like it to work because really this technique is better for uh, no silicone in the paint. But, you know. And I'm seeing all this paint, and I really don't think that, that I have enough. But, <laughs> we'll see. We'll just have to push it beyond its limits, I think. Ah, no, 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 no. Whoops, I got uh, orange in there. And the white. And I don't want orange in the white. There we go. I got most of it, I think. I have to be a little more careful pouring that in there. Okay, let's do some um, purple. Oh, that's close. I about did it again. I've got a little white left here, so we're going to pour some white into here as well. We're just going to use everything. These are just this turquoise here, or Tuscan teal. If you guys want to know what colors these are, um, just look at the Halloween video and the last video I did. This is Tuscan teal, obviously. The reason I can remember that is because I use it all, a lot. I love the color. Um, let's do some red. We got a lot of red here. This is just, have I used the orange yet? Yeah, I did because I got white in it. Well, this is going to be interesting. canvas. I really hope so. Um, let's go with the purple. Dump that last bit of purple in there. There we 
go. Okay. I'll let the rest of this yellow. Oh, I really hope these colors don't mix together because they're not going to be real pretty if they do. Purple and yellow. Use the rest of this orange while we're at it. Okay, what have we got left here? That's black, I think. Did we use all the black? We got a pinch of it left. That's it for the black. Let's get in the rest of that head right there. You get enough to eat more? Yep. Okay. Okay, it's off the red. This one has got pink. And that's going to be it. I know, y'all. These colors do not go well together. I see that. But, got a lot of leftover paint here. I got to do something with it. Even if it turns out ugly, we'll know better next time. down there. We're going to pour that out. Hopefully it'll come out first and then it won't be upsetting the rest of the white. I'll have to be a little more careful next time, I think. But we'll pour it from here. <laughs> okay, you have to pour with your canvas at an angle so it kind of flows down. I'm trying to decide if I want to do it yeah, I think I want to do it that way. Okay, so here we go. Wish me luck. Oh, that white's got that yellow in it. Woo! Yeah, let's go ahead and pour the rest of that in there. Okay. <laughs> I probably needed white over here. I've got a lot of it sitting there on the table. I'm kind of thinking about maybe picking it up and. Oh, yeah. Let's, um, let's pick some of that white up over there and put it. It's really pretty on the table. And this is just hope, in hopes that it will pull all that color off of the table. I mean, sorry, that's not what I meant at all. <laughs> in hopes that it will pull some of this paint off, you know, in that direction. Okay, this is really a mess. And I really don't have enough paint to go around. But look, this, this area right here looks cool, but... I don't know, kind of lost what we were going for here. I don't know, but that does look cool. I really need to pull off all that paint over there. Let's see if we got anything left. Not really. Not really. Okay. I feel like I probably need a corner catcher because I don't want to lose a lot of that. So we're going to try not to put our shirt in the paint. Because I 
didn't change my shirt today. And let's see if we can save most of this. Maybe it's all just kind of cramming together. The whole idea is to get a lot of uh, negative, white negative space. Ah, don't go off of there. Okay, let's bring that back now. Oh, it's looking kind of cool. Sort of. getting a lot of that from uh, what, what the white kind of crawled over. Let's get that corner over there first. There we go. I kind of like what this is doing too. But that's all going off so Okay, definitely not angel wings, but <laughs> kind of neat. I want this to, wow, look at all that color coming out from underneath the white. That is because of the silicone. It would not have done that otherwise. I really don't want to. I don't know. I kind of like it. It's kind of neat. This is something that bothers me is there's not enough. This, it doesn't have enough energy. Oh, I just dripped it, but not that you can even tell. I kind of want to blow that that way just so that we get a little more going on. So it's not a straight line. So I love that. Okay. I think we'll get the little um, airbrush thingy out real quick. Try to get paint all over it if I can find it over here in my pile. Oops. And hopefully I'm not going to, you know, ruin what I got going on here. I hope not. Okay, throw some stuff away real quick, get it off the table. Okay, look at all the cells under the water, under the, the water, under the white. <laughs> there we go. Well, that's a little more interesting. Oh yeah, I like that. Look at the cells when you blow on when you blow on that what it creates. I have to say I love this little toy. This is just if you guys don't have one of these, you got to get one. Um, I want to say that Christina Welch uh, has like a link to them or something. So um, if you guys want one of these things, go to her channel and see if she's got a link for them and that way she can get credit um, for the sale you know we always we all want to help out each other in whatever we, way we can so you know look at all the cells that get created when you blow into the white and it <laughs> it's just kind of neat. Sorry, sometimes I get excited. Um, look at those those cells. They're crazy. They got like a billion stripes in them. I don't want to mess up that cell right there, so I'm trying to sort of blow around it there.
Well, I have to say, like, I think I said this already, but this is totally not what I had in mind, but I think it turned out kind of cool. I would like to see more white, solid white negative space, but it did kind of give an interesting effect, so I'm not going to complain too much. I can't decide if that's enough or not. You're probably going, enough, enough, enough. I don't like this blobby cell right there, so we're going to get rid of that. I mean, it's just amazing to me the cells that are coming up from blowing through this. I didn't really want the uh, the silicone and the white, but I'm t I, I gotta say, I kind of like it now. It's pretty cool. Trying not to. Let's make that cell a little bigger. Look at that. There we go. Cool. That kind of needs to be blown out a little bit. There we go. I think we need to do a little bit of this yellow. Blow that out a little bit. All right. Up here a little bit. Draw some of that pink. Oh, I just love this little toy. It's so much fun to play with. I mean, y'all really, you get, if you don't have, <laughs> you sh saving your pennies for things, buy one of these. It's well worth it. It's just so much fun to play with. It works really great in, with the acrylic paints. It works really awesome with the resin. Turn that off while I'm looking. I'm kind of thinking this one is done. I think that needs a little bit of breaking up a little bit. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you can see the way the black kind of blended with some of these colors, but, and if I, see, I'm afraid to torch it because it's going to ruin this white. It's going to bring up cells throughout here, but we need to, need to torch it, get rid of a bunch of air bubbles. So really quick. Don't forget your edges. So that's not touching. Okay, that's it. That's all I'm going to do. I think we're going to have to try this again because that was, <laughs> that was fun. Okay, let's get you down so you can see a little bit of detail there. Okay, so I'll give you a quick close up. My battery on my phone is about to die, so it's going to have to be quick. I was really worried about blending all these colors together, but I'm really, look at that line going through there. That's crazy. But I'm actually glad I put all these colors together. Most of the time it comes out looking like mud, but every once in a while you get lucky. If you make sure your paints are thick enough, see, I mean, even there where the black kind of mixed with everything, that is still pretty. So every once in a while, you know, like I said, if you mix your paints thick enough, make sure they're, because if they're too thin, they definitely will muddy up. Um, but yeah, keep your paints a nice thickness and um, don't move the paint too much. When you're pouring them into a cup, uh, make sure you don't hold the thing, hold your cup up high so they don't mix together too much. Okay, let's get you back up. All right, so <laughs> I'm I'm really happy about this one. I think this one's really cool. I think we're definitely gonna have to try this again. I'm gonna like find a bunch of ugly colors and put them all together and see what happens. 
um, at some point eventually. So we might try this again without the silicone and the white because that really did change the entire outlook. But I kind of like all those little bitty cells that came up. Okay, well this is where I'm going to leave you for today. There's your pretty for today. Uh, thank you everyone for subscribing to my channel. Those of you who watch the ads for me, I really, really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, and uh, check out my website, www.southerndutchgirlart.com. I've got a lot of cool stuff up there. I'd love for you guys to have a piece of it in your home. And wherever you're on the planet, I hope you're having an awesome afternoon, day, evening, or night. See you later. Bye.